Portside will be uh, the tallest building in Cape Town, but that's not the important issue here. Uh, it is going to be the first tall green building in Africa. Talking about sustainability and green issues, one almost doesn't want to talk about it anymore because it, it, it has to be second nature. It's what is best practice. We have to save on energy and we have to be aware and we have to save our planet. We've got almost 50,000 cubes of concrete and about 6,500 tons of, of uh, reinforcement estimated. So really looking at how we can cut down on raw materials is a big issue. So Marion Roberts going for a 65-35 slag cement blend was, makes a big impact. That sort of ratio is, is commonly used in, in dam wall construction. What that's brought us is um, a very sustainable concrete from an environmental point of view. We're using a lot of, a lot of waste product. And not only that, with the, with the careful mix design, we've cut down on the total binder uh, quantity. So it's, it's a saving on the, on the proportion of concrete, but it's also a saving on the total amount of concrete per cube. In addition to that, we're also looking at using coarse slag for some of the uh, coarse aggregate, which is very innovative. We're getting very high at, uh, concrete strengths, compressive strengths. So for our, our 30 MPA slab mixes, we're getting up to 55 MPA. For rigidity and for sheer uh, stability, um, concrete is, 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 is the only true structural material. So what you're looking down on here is the, the basement. It's two and a half levels of basement parking. And uh, due to the sloping nature of the site, that means that we're at about eight meters depth at one end of one corner and about 15 meters depth at the other, the other corner. So we've got some cost savings and some program savings by proposing a, a precast slab system, which was really a, a series of, of mass concrete piers with precast beams, precast slabs, and then a concrete topping over that. So that saved the contractor a lot of time and the client a lot of money. Now that we're out of the ground, we're going to start flying now. The cause as well will be a seven day turnaround. So it'll be climbing approximately four meters per week and uh, one level of floor per week. The concrete will all be pumped from the site batch plant across the road. We've got two pipes which are trenched across Bree Street into the basement. When that's active, it'll form a massive arch which can reach to any part of the site. And we felt that once we've uh, got a very simple, rational shape, we should rather than concentrate on the, the lightness of the structure, uh, the, the crystalline feel of it. So it's, that's why we've chosen glass. Uh, it's very transparent, it's very light, uh, because it's quite a, a sturdy building and one needs to try and, and, and soften it in that way. And this building will have 360 degree views from all the floors. It's going to be a, a very, very pleasant building to work in. So it's, it's a very prominent site in the city centre and uh, the, the first big building, the first tall building to be built in Cape Town in, in the last 20 years. It's not often that an engineer working in Cape Town gets to work on a, on a project of this scale and magnitude. <laughs>